Hi there. You're looking at my Adafruit Clue. And right now, it's measuring this 50 gram weight on my HX711 pressure sensor from DF Robot. It's talking over I2C. Something you'll need to keep in mind if you'd like to do this as well is the pinout for the I2C is a little bit different here than Stemma QT. Stemma QT is SCL, SDA, BCC, and ground. So you'll need to swap the SDA and SCL and ground and VCC wires if you'd like to make the same connection. I did it here with my uh, little wiring job connecting a bunch of different wires together. I didn't have an exact match for the Stemma QT uh, to uh, I2C, so I had to make do. But either way, uh, if you'd like to do this yourself, uh, you can pull down the CircuitPython code and make it work your as well. I have an example of it working with the clue board. One thing to keep in mind is at times the data isn't always 100% accurate. There are uh, variations in the weight that are returned, usually around the level of uh, 0.07 grams up and down. But at times it can be really wild throwing like 400 gram differences. The code can be improved to throw out those really wild uh, variations. I just haven't done it yet. This is a very basic, very uh, initial iteration for it. Now uh, the Stemma uh, sorry, rather, the, the clue board itself has these two buttons, and I've programmed them to do two different things for the purposes of this scale. Now, you probably know this function on the right. It can reset it back to zero. As you see, I still have the 50-gram weight on there, and I'm going to reset it. One second. There we go. And as a result of that, now it's showing zeroed out from the point with this on it. I'll remove the weight and we show a negative 50 gram weight. And the left feature is a calibration feature. I can calibrate a 50 gram weight by placing it on. Then it calibrates that weight. And of course, we're zeroed out to uh, have the 50 gram weight on there. So currently it's showing zero, but I can remove the weight. I can zero it out again, and then place the weight back on. And you can see it's once again showing 50. So it's pretty cool. It can control it over, over I2C. The code needs to be improved to throw out the crazy numbers. But for the most part, it's working really well, and I like it. it fulfills my needs. I'm planning on using it for all sorts of fun little projects, like being able to monitor uh, over time and watch a graph of perhaps the evaporation of a liquid.